welcome to my channel for those who are here for the first time welcome my name is tama and i'm here to talk about what it's like to become a scrub nurse at 50 and how i'm adapting to the learning process while also balancing other parts of my life so if you're someone who's considering a career change or or maybe you're just trying to juggle other responsibilities this video is for you. Becoming a scrub nurse at this stage in my life has been a roller coaster of emotions, I must admit. It has been exciting, it has been challenging, and nerve wracking at times. But the truth is, I found that the best way to learn is not with videos or tutorials, but it's actually doing the work, being hands on, standing at the table, and actually handing the instruments off to the surgeon while you are. At the peak of your concentration makes a world of difference of course you'll make mistakes along the way that is that's normal because you're now learning right and trust me i have made a lot as well mistakes are just a stepping stone to success every time i was asked to hand the surgeon an instrument i had to go it over in my mind very very quickly and if i wasn't sure i would just look up at my circulator all right I mean, with surgery, you have to be careful, you do make mistakes, so having the help of my circulator was much, much appreciated. Again, don't be ashamed because you're older to ask for help or ask questions. So with constant repetition, actually doing the hands-on, doing the hands-on training, I became better and better at my skill. Now here's the kicker. I'm also trying to build a brand and own a digital marketing business. While working full time, this in itself is a challenge. So here are some things that I found very, very helpful. Tip number one, prioritize your task. The truth is you can't do everything all at once. Start by making a list of all the things that are important to you every single day. Whether it's studying, whether it's working, or spending time with your family, or time for self-care. For me, I like to break things down into smaller, actionable steps so that I won't feel overwhelmed if I'm staring at a mountain of work to do or a mountain of tasks to complete. So you have to know what you need to put in front, what's most important to you, and move accordingly. So, Okay, you might say, I still don't have enough time, but even if it's just 30 minutes in the morning or 30 minutes after coming home from work, that still counts. It still counts, right? That's why it's important to block out your time. Remember, it's all about being consistent rather than being perfect. Nobody's perfect, right? So that leads us to tip number two, time blocking. So here's an example of how I would block out my time because most of the time I would work Monday to Friday, either a 73 shift or a 12 to 8 shift. And this has been very helpful. And knowing that I have time for everything, that helps to reduce the stress and keeps me from feeling overwhelmed. It's really easy to fall into the trap of trying to do it all, but your brain needs time to recharge. Which leads me to tip number three, self-care. Self-care is non-negotiable. And this is something that I learned the hard way. When you're juggling a full-time job and you're trying to adjust to a new area, the burnout is real. So always make sure you put self-care when you're blocking out your time. Take a, take a walk. Just go lie down and relax. And, you know, you can meditate on how you picture your life and what you want out of life. Even just enjoying a cup of tea. So at the end of the day, the key is balance balance it's easy to feel that you're being pulled into a million directions yeah but remember those three tips which is uh, prioritizing your task blocking out your time and self-care and give yourself grace when things don't go perfectly as you wanted it to keep showing up consistently and be patient with yourself whether you're training to be a scrub nurse at 50 or starting a business from scratch like me I truly, truly believe that you can succeed because if I could learn how to hand a surgeon the right instruments in the middle of a high-tension surgery, I know that I will be successful in starting and running my online business and building a brand for myself. So I'm here to tell you that you've got this.
you do. Don't be afraid. Go after what you want. And no matter how busy or how stressful life gets, take a moment, calm yourself, breathe. Breathe. Remember, self-care is important. Blocking your time is important. Prioritizing your care is important. I wanted to show you some more pics of me, but we we're not allowed to do any filming in theater where I work. I really wanted to show you all um, my routine and how I handle myself in the theater, but that was impossible. But I just have a few pics of me scrubbing for the first time and different instruments and stuff like that. And I didn't want to put somebody else's footage out there. So I was just, I just said, let me just talk and have a little chat with you all, you know, just to give my experience and how I was able to give you all an idea of how or what makes it possible for me to still have a full-time job showing that you can do it too. All right. Thanks for watching and I appreciate you and have a good day and I'll see you in my next video. Okay. Bye.